Okay, we're going to do a little video walk around of our 2003 Hydrosport 212 walk around. It's our third year owning the boat. Each year we've done a little more on it. It was a really rough shape to start with. Uh, so we put the uh, hardtop on last year, the enclosure, with the windshield wipers and such. Uh, we'll show you what else we did. Okay, we put a new, uh, we bought a new load right trailer uh, dual axle. It just had a single axle trailer. My son has a uh, graphics business. Uh, he made all the signage for us. Gobi Master is the name of the boat. We don't take ourselves too seriously. The uh, 150 Yamaha uh, was original with the boat. It only had 250 hours on it, so uh, we, we, that's the reason we bought the boat. It was in, inside was in rough, rough shape when we bought it, but something to work on. We uh, put the, added the 99 Tohatsu kicker and the extension plate, and we put a uh, Garmin Reactor 40 automatic uh, uh, GPS uh, system autopilot on the uh, kicker motor. In In the back here, we added the rails and then we put the uh, rocket launchers on the rails to run. We put in a dual battery charger. It's down here with a, with a, with a plug on the outside to plug in. We added the uh, fish measuring carpet or whatever you want to call it down here so we can just lay our fish on the deck and, and measure. On the side of the boat we took the, uh, the, rod, the rod storage which really is worthless. Uh, we took it out and put a door. Uh, we had, had a door made so we store lures and such in there. Uh, tackle boxes, lure boxes. Top of the boat, we added the uh, handrails. Uh, of course, we made uh, again. We made the uh, enclosure and the hard top. We built that here. Um, added a new LED light. We put a, a charger on there, and it's a dual battery charger, solar panels, so that when we're at the dock, we don't pay for electric. Uh, it automatically keeps the batteries charged. Antenna just, antenna just uh, ratchets up. We just move it up from there. Okay, we don't use the live well, so we turned it into uh, our life jacket storage. And we just use the cooler under here. It does a good job, so we'll put ice in and just use the, the cooler side. On the inside, we've redone all the wiring. Uh, this is the... Uh, this is the controls for the kicker motor right here and for the main motor uh, my partner Jim he's a uh, he's an engineer he designed designed all the uh, uh, designed the plate here had it recut for our for our gauges and uh, put in all lit uh, instrument panel switches I did the wiring and such uh, we our storage compartment here we didn't want to lose the storage compartment so we added the our Garmin, uh, um, our Garmin GPS. Okay, under the hard top, we put a uh, life preserver, a throw ring up here, and it just pulls out uh, if needed. We put these trays up on the top, and so we have the uh, the clips for the for the big boards, rubber bands, uh, our spoons and such up there. Uh, of course, Hydra Sports has a drawer down. Here. Down, down here for for more tackle so uh, inside there's our uh, battery battery charger for the solar panel uh, there's the controller for the autopilot for the kicker this is the uh, GPS for the autopilot for the kicker and of course the GPS the Garmin uh, GPS and then uh, uh, inside the boat 
we re cleaned it up but uh, got lights in there uh, we'll keep our rods down here big boards over there and uh, yeah of course the all in, all important toilet so anyway uh, that's our 2003 Hydra Sport 212 walk around uh, now we're lucky enough that we we keep it in a shop in the winter so every year we'll do a winter project i think project for next winter is to put new gauges on the yamaha gauges uh and they work but you can't read them very well that they're faded so we'll put new gauges on next winter but always got to have a winter project so we got an overhead crane we got a paint booth uh lucky enough to be able to keep a keep the boat in a facility like that so all right that's it thanks